Okay, do we need like an intro All or right. something? We did not plan this part. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I think... literally saw the bullet point on the Google Doc, brief inter introduction, so I was like, Hi, I'm Becky, I do translations. <laughs> That's very brief. That's very nice. Well, I don't know how to formally introduce, but... I guess, welcome to Hot Pot, an Overwatch esports podcast, where we talk about Overwatch esports um, as fans of Overwatch esports, not as people who are trying to be smart about it. <laughs> do you want to do like, right. individual introductions as well? Do you want to start really with yours, quick. Becky? Because you've already got one prepared. <laughs> you I thought am this Becky. Out. I tr yeah, I know. I, I, I totally thought it out. I've got, a, I've got it written down. I'm Becky. I do translations on Twitter, um, and I sometimes write articles. That's it. Oh, okay. Well, I'm Bonnie, and I only do the article part. I don't do the translating part, and that's also it, if we're going by that formula. <laughs> that oh, is my okay. formula. <laughs> well, I would, I'm, I'm, pop, I'm popping what works. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I'm Sen. I make memes for San Francisco Shock, amongst other things, and uh, I don't do the article or the translation part, and that's Fantastic. it. Fantastic. <laughs> it went, like, in a downward <laughs> slope. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Becky. I do I'm... translations. I write articles. I'm a community figure. Hi, I'm Bonnie. I write articles. Hi, I've said I make memes. <laughs> I would argue that's an upward. That's an upward. Like, <laughs> memes are really the peak, uh, in my opinion, of all kinds of content. Sen. I'm Sen, and I do the funny. <laughs> make the funnies. All right, we are recording uh, around 9 p.m. Eastern time, though Sen is on Australian time, so it's like... 1 p.m. for Sen? Yeah, that's one at the moment. Um, and <laughs> yeah, I need to I need to like get used to doing that time conversion because I've never done that that calculation before. Korea, it's always like 12 hours or 14 hours, one of the two. Uh, is it 13? I was just gonna say, what game is and we're bad at maths. <laughs> yeah, but then we're Asians and we're supposed to be good at math. Oh my god, the conflict of identity. Do they cancel each other out? I'm gonna write a poem about my conflicting identities as a gamer and as an Asian. <laughs> In this essay, I will. <laughs> so, for today's podcast, we wanted to do two things. Um, we wanted to give a quick pronunciation guide for um, the Korean names and the Chinese names in Overwatch League, um, especially the new incoming players and teams. And then we wanted to do a lightning round, um, just sort of um, everyone will take turns to like make a snap judgment on whether a team will do well or middling or not well in um, the 2019 season. And it's not going to be based on anything really professional or in-depth because none of this is serious and we are just here to have fun. Oh, you know what we should do for the pronunciation part? What? I'll just say the names um, in the completely wrong way, and uh, you can correct yes. me. Yes! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh yeah. That's so good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> Bonnie, please take us away. All right, Zoe. So ready. We go into these Korean names. Uh, have you seen that awesome new Zenyatta player on NYXL? I believe his name is Jay Jonak. Jonak. Okay. <laughs> Oh, who's the off tank player on uh, Vancouver Titans? Uh, Jay Janu? Janu. And his teammate, Horeg. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing so well, but. Wow, well, you did. This is like when people pronounce who are you as Horu. <laughs> <laughs> but this is Horeg. And he used to be on uh, London Spitfire, who also used to have an off tank player called. Uh, What's his name again? Who y'all? Woo y'all? Woo y'all. <laughs> Woo y'all. <laughs> Who y'all? Well, Who Ray's gonna be playing DPS on the Vancouver Titans? Another one of the DPS players on that team is, um, Hoskal? Huxal. Huxal, which uh, means something, I assume. Massacre. Yes. <laughs> oh, actually, that's a good point. Jonak means, um, squishy, like, it means squishy octopus, and actually, Hureg and Janu, I have no idea what they mean. Or Wu Yao. Or Wu Yao. Like, actually, GC Busan had the least, like, meaningful names, in my opinion. They were just, like, syllables put together. <laughs> well, speaking of GC Busan, 
They also had another player, an Anna Zenyatta player, called Hagopyun. Hagopyun, which means <laughs> I want to do. I want to. Okay, well, we move over from, uh, he's on Florida now, I think, right? Yeah, he's on yeah, Florida yeah. now. We move yes. over to NYXL again, where they've got an awesome Tracer player called Say Biolvi. Oh my god! <laughs> You're breaking me right now! Um, it's Say Biolvi, um, though I think, like, it, that's, like, a tricky name. Like, it's spelled very, like, it, it's spelled very complicated. But it's Say Biolvi, and it means, um, Reign of Stars Before Dawn. Yep. And uh, NYXL brought on some new players this season, including an uh, off-tank player now called Nene. Ne- I know Twitch chat likes to say, I, I, I like, Nene um, it, when Nene plays, but it's Nene. Like, that's how he spells it in Korean. Okay. Well, I think that's all of them. I threaded them together very masterfully. If I you, so I was <laughs> super duper impressed. That was really good. <laughs> well, I don't know what to do about the Chinese ones. So, uh, uh, let's go by Sen's least favorite Chinese cities first. Ooh, okay, okay, so, well, there's Shanghai. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it in reverse order. Shanghai. <laughs> Shanghai. Shanghai. The, what was the rule the about... U. Yeah, the rule about Chinese yeah. A's. And there's Guangzhou. <laughs> I'm only assuming oh. what they will say. I've not heard it yet. Guangzhou. And, uh, Hangzhou. 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 Just pretend that a guy named Joe got hung on a wall and oh just God. say Hangzhou. <laughs> okay. And the last one, which is where I'm really from, Chengdu. Chengdu. All right. Uh, for the the names, I don't even know how to butcher them. I'm just gonna go. Hangzhou's got an awesome main tank, and his name is Gushu. Oh no, I would, I would, I think some people might say Gukshu, because I've heard people say, like, pronounce Wuxia as Wuxia. Oh. Gukshu, Guxui. <laughs> what is it it's actually? Guxue. So kind of like G O O Gu Shui. No, not Shui. Shue. <laughs> I don't know how to say <laughs> this. Think of like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's right, kids. That exactly sounds, like that. Yeah, that sounded like yeah. you're in a cartoon and you're like melting in the middle of your sentence. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and what is it? The last uh, Chinese can you, can name you, in the movie. Is there Chinese characters for Gu Shui? Yes. Uh, yeah, it's Lonely Snow. Yeah. <gasps> Yeah. I well, the first time I heard kind of it, I didn't know the characters. I thought it meant like bones and blood. I was like, huh. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, yeah, what yeah. I thought as well. When I saw it, I was like, Gush, uh, that's that's pretty edgy. But then I mean, it's, he's a gamer. This, like... It's a reasonable, you know, expectation. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. We thought we, were go- we thought he was going hard, but inside he was actually a sensitive soul. Yeah, he's a lonely yeah, we snow. Thought it was like oh my the God. Chinese tank equivalent of Puxel. Yeah, exactly. But gotcha. uh, no, he's a. He's soft. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. And the last one is uh, named after a character from the animated show, Ruby. I actually thought it meant something else in Chinese, but no. He watched Ruby and decided he liked that character enough to name himself after it. Which is uh, Yang Xiaolong. Yang Xiaolong? <laughs> <laughs> is it so literally it's... Little Dragon? Yeah. Okay. Little Dragon Xiaolong. And then Yang is the character for Sun. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, so I think we've cycled through all of them. We have. Yeah, Y-A-N-G yeah. is like, pronounced as Y-O-U-N-G, Yang. Alrighty, thank you, Sen, for the Chinese name pronoun- pronunciations. Hopefully this is helpful, but I'm not like super duper optimistic. Like, it, I mean, this is, these are like tricky names for um, people who don't uh, often come into contact with uh, non-English names, so it's a work in progress. Um, Look, if also, people, yeah, sorry, if people can learn to pronounce Dostoevsky, they can learn to pronounce these. This is very true. But having said that, we also have to acknowledge that some people in Overwatch League still can't pronounce Brigitta. Brigetti? Bridget. Be- Baguette? Okay, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
So next round is going to be lightning round. Is this team, how is this team going to do? Um, and it's like, like, you know, um, shoot shag or marry, but like high, mid, low. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what a way to put it. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So I'm going to put Bonnie under the, I'm going to, I'm going to put Bonnie in the spot first. Oh, fu- gonna, okay. Uh, I mean, <laughs> oh, I'm going to yell out the team name. Frick. Oh, okay. <laughs> Please. I'm gonna yell out the team names, and you're gonna tell me within like three seconds okay. what, what your judgment is. Ready? Uh huh. Okay. Atlanta Rain. Uh, low. <laughs> oh. New York Excelsior. High. Paris Eternal. Can I go low mid? No. Fine. Low. <laughs> Cheng- Chengdu Hunters. Low, and I say this with love. I say this with the utmost love. <laughs> oh. L.A. Valiant. High. Vancouver Titans. Mid, and I also say that with love. I disclaimer. Really? You think that's mid? Yes, okay, and I will explain why later. Okay, I'm gonna highlight that because that <laughs> I think is actually kind of a controversial uh, call. I mean, I'm, I find that interesting. I'm a big Runaway fan. I can reclaim. Uh-huh. I own one of their jerseys, uh, sweaters rather. I own sh- I own a shirt and a sweater. That should put me in the clear. That, but that sure, I will. I will fans. explain. I will explain. <laughs> okay, Ben, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Uh, Boston Uprising. Low. Houston Outlaws. <laughs> Low. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get killed for this. Oh, that was a pass. Philadelphia Fusion. <laughs> Hi. Washington Justice. Low. Hangzhou Spark. Mid. And I see this with love. <laughs> LA Gladiators. Hi. Shanghai Dragons. Tip, tip, top. Can someone call out the teams for me? <laughs> okay, I'll do it. Uh, right. Florida Mayhem. Low. London Spitfire. High. Toronto Defiant. Mid. Dallas Fuel. Mid. Guangzhou Charge. Oh, low. <laughs> SF Shock. Uh, mid. <laughs> Sen's just like staring at you. <laughs> <laughs> My fists are clenched right now. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, Soul Dynasty. Hi. <laughs> which a lot of people like I, so many people are like just writing off soul which i understand but I i'm gonna explain it, listen they don't want to be hurt again they're just protecting themselves they That's don't want to have true. expectations oh, again oh it's like, <laughs> it's like after you came out of like a really one-sided crush or something yeah. you don't even want to like be hurt again so <laughs> you're like no one likes me kind of they're closing well, off their feelings. <laughs> yeah, they're becoming emotionally unavailable. Exactly. That's that's not their fault. That's Soul's fault in season one. Look, but they can't. As change. one of the OG Soul stands, I understand. When Lunatic <laughs> High was playing in Apex, I kept I kept saying, "This is Lunatic High is not going to do well. Lunatic High is not going to do well." I convinced myself, and when they didn't do well, it didn't hurt as much. <laughs> and when they but when they did do well, it was fantastic. Can you exactly. imagine being a Runaway fan? <laughs> for for five seasons. <laughs> okay. I mean, even longer. I guess. Like, yeah. it's season two, three, four of Apex. I mean, also, I think they were in season one, and then. Uh, they were, but I wasn't watching season one, one, so. Yeah, I wasn't watching season one. Either. Shame. <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> well, I, Sorry. Hey, How can hey, you call hey. yourself a real esports fan if you haven't watched <laughs> season one of Apex? Oh my god. Listen, I watched one clip from season one of Apex, which was when Sombra had just came out and Eska played her for the first time ever. Oh, and he died and of he me. fucking <laughs> failed. He failed so fucking hard. He it got onto so our Overwatch. Hard. It was like, the first Sombra and pro play, must watch. And I was like, okay, well, if it says it in the title, then I better watch it. So I watched it, and I was like, ha look at this loser. And that was pretty much it. <laughs> oh that was my, my god. That was my only exposure to Apex before season two. Rip, Eska. Oh, Moment Eska. of silence. Moment of silence. Alrighty, uh, so I, that that was a sorry, sorry that was a short moment, but we have to move on. Um, I love Eska, but uh, I'm gonna ask about Paris Eternal and Vancouver Titans to Bonnie because I actually um, thought Paris's uh, roster looked very promising. Really, you're not gonna ask me about New York Excelsior? Then you say hi. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's not surprising. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> yes, I think they will be high. Anyway, I think I think they're strong still. I, I, I don't, I, you, you never underestimate LW. You don't bet they win, but you don't bet they do badly. Fair enough. Okay, well, mm. so Paris Eternal. 
Um, I have given this two whole seconds of thought, but, uh... <laughs> just glancing over their roster, I don't know. I don't see any, like, individual standouts other than, like, mm. Soon and Shadowburn, the obvious mm, ones. Mm, mm, mm. Just because they've been in Overwatch League before. I don't know, it's like, it's a very different level of competition, as we've seen. So, I don't know, mm. I think, like, maybe if they come into Season 1 and they had time to develop... They would be. I would be more confident about them, but mm-hmm. as an expansion mm-hmm. team, they have like an inherent disadvantage because they just haven't been together as long. And like they have some like former Overwatch League people there, like Damon and stuff. And yeah. Soon and Shadowburn, they have like experience in the league, but mm-hmm. uh, ultimately it's a different ballpark. So I don't know. I'm like, just generally with expansion teams, I'm just not very sure about any of them. So. Agreed. Agreed. Um, and how do you explain placing Vancouver Titans in mid? <laughs> that sounds so, like, accusatory. How do you I'm explain sorry. this? <laughs> like, explain you're, yourself. You're like, like a detective shining light into my eyes to get me to confess to a crime. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's exactly what Well, like I explain said, yourself. it's just... Don't know about competing with Overwatch League talent. I think they will hmm. be one of the better expansion teams, of course. And they'll probably be, like, some of the worst existing teams. Like, um... I'm not going to say any names. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know. I don't know what the meta is going to look like in February, so I don't know how they're going to do there. That's actually really um, also a good point. We have no idea what the meta is going to look like in February. So um, right now we have goats plus chaos. Um, and we. <laughs> the it's, the it's Venn very... diagram of goats and chaos is just a circle. <laughs> It's just a circle. There is no, there, is, there are no like um, overlapping lines. It's just one single line. I, I know it's um, like cooldown management and stuff, like the minutia of goats. But to viewers, it all just looks like five ults going off at the same time, and either no one dies or everyone dies. Or everyone dies. Um, so that is like important to point out. Also, I don't know how well Runaway does at goats. If 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 God forbid goats does continue <laughs> until February. <laughs> Like, um, like who knows how Runaway is at Goats. Um, so we'll see. Um, I certainly don't. Sen. I think. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, no. Being cool to explain Houston Outlaws as low. I regret putting them as low, honestly. I used my two brain cells to, to think for a second. <laughs> it was honestly their energy. Their energy? <laughs> their energy. It's... I don't know, the aura of the team, it just made me feel like, mm, they're good, but they're not that good. You know what I mean? Maybe mid. Maybe mid was the right answer. You want to switch to mid? I want to switch to mid. They did All pick right. up Dante. They did. They have a Tracer player now, but Tracer is pretty much irrelevant in the meta at the moment. But then again, I... who knows what's going to happen in February? <laughs> I mean, I think I always think it's good to have a, tr- a like really, really high-level Tracer specialist up your sleeve. But having said that, if I, I, I do think this was not the best time to get a Tracer Specialist. Um, yeah. Just meta-wise. Uh, and then, please tell us why Shanghai Dragons will be going to playoffs in Overwatch League season. Have, the, you, looked the next at season. Their, have you looked at their roster? Shangdu Pan Dragons are going to playoffs. <laughs> Actually, that's such a good, like, um, portmanteau, Pan Dragons. I know. I, I haven't heard that one before. It's always been like Shangdu Drag Thera, which honestly is awful. Sorry, M. Who the fuck? Who the, <laughs> who the hell? Toxic Drag Thera. I don't know who's Drag. <laughs> I'm pretty oh sure I read God. it somewhere. But... Shangdu Pan Dragons. I like it. Shangdu Pan Dragons people. As long um... as Koma's curse does not follow them, I'm positive <laughs> there will be a top tier team. I mean, Comus they have just shuts the entire arena down for ten minutes at a time. Literally, <laughs> Comus curse causes blackout um, <laughs> in Burbank, Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but uh, completely correct. We have uh, a bunch of new players from Kungdu Panthera who are second place in contenders, and they have an Element Mystic coach coming. Um, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be interesting. They do. It's gonna be good. Yeah, oh, uh, Levi that. from Element Mystic is joining um that was that was why my submission for the shanghai dragons like like that captioned this thing for coma and this that other guy that other guy was levi okay i should have well. put i should have like like in the caption like made clear he was levi but i don't think anyone got it 
Well, now we know. Now we can revisit that meme with full knowledge of what it means. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll retweet it because I'm all about promoting my content. <laughs> I need to make this an esports career. Um... <laughs> okay, well, time for you to be put on the spot now. Uh, okay. Now the spot putter becomes the spot putty. Oh, geez. oh how the turntables. <laughs> oh, how the turntables. So, uh... You highlighted Dallas Fuel for yourself, which I don't understand. I don't. I don't know why. Just <laughs> because I, I, well, I, I no 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 because I actually only did that because um, your guys' reaction was like mm. <laughs> I forgot what you said already. <laughs> I think I yeah I put them as mid. Oh yeah um yeah I mean I, th- I think I probably put them as mid as well just because like yeah their new pickups are pretty good. For the new pickups. <laughs> <laughs> no, so you put it for a different reason. Literally, who are the new pickups? I forgot. Uh, RCK. Closer. Closer. Um... Zachary. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so That's this it. is why I put them as mid. I mean, all of those players are great players, but in terms of are they the players that Dallas need? Like, RCK is... What does RCK play? It's hit scan. Oh, no, he's not. He's Diva. Diva. Zachary he's a Diva. hit scan. And then Closer. That's okay. What? So I feel like um, they're sort of like they okay. So they ha- they they have a new flex tank, which is great, um, and they have. Mm, I'm not. I like. I I want. Like they still don't have a project. Anyone we can really call a projectile sp- specialist, in my opinion. They all have hit scan base hit scan p- players who can also play projectile heroes. Um. So. I, I sort of have a question mark about that, especially because, um, I don't know, like, oh god, I can't I can't say what I'm thinking because it's going to come out in an article that's coming out. Ugh. Okay, I'll. Um, <laughs> Ooh, I can't say the thing I wanted to say, but uh, so I'm not sure about like about the new DPS. Um, I like I'm curious what combos we're going to see of their DPS players, and I'm curious what's going to happen with. Pre-existing, pre-existing um, uh, original players like Mickey, because obviously he did really well on Brikita last season, but um, we, we have a new flex tank, so are they going to put Mickey on Brikita all the time, despite the fact that Brikita is usually played by the flex DPS? What is going to happen? Um, I feel like they didn't really release or add as dynamically as I thought they should have. But they're still really good. They're still like really talented players, all of them. So. Okay. Hmm. Uh, the next one that you highlighted was Soul Dynasty, which uh, I'm sure you'd love to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> all I have to say about Soul Dynasty is I attribute a lot of their season one issues to um, sort of overcrowding in the coaching staff situation, which led to confusion for the players. And the reason I say that is I think everyone was still mechanically really good, but obviously that's never good enough in Overwatch League. Um, I think I don't think anyone's mechanical skill performance lagged. I think it's just at times the team looked like they had no strategy or they just looked really lost. Um, and I so that's why I think it was it, it's more on like the coaches than it was on the players. Um, and they did like make significant changes to their player lineup, so I'm I'm very optimistic. Didn't they steal like Coach Chang as well? I mean, yeah, it is now that? tradition they steal from GC Busan. Yeah, <laughs> now they just have them. for their coaches. Yeah, like just uh, we'll collect all of them. <laughs> they were playing the we'll long con. My coach now, the long con, um, which is like kind of Genji's like model right now. Like, oh, that person does well, we'll get him. If anyone from Genji is listening. The Seoul Dynasty fans in Korea are very impatient for a fan meet, (laughs) and they're looking at you with red-rimmed eyes. When the hell are we getting a fan meet? If they, if these players leave um, for Overwatch League without a fan meet, there will be a riot. Arnold, (laughs) can you hear me? Arnold, (laughs) knocking. Arnold. I, I like um no no offense meant no no aggression meant from this side I'm just conveying a mood. <laughs> um all right guys thanks that's all we have for today. Um all of our episodes are probably going to be kind of fun bite size episodes. Um we're not really going to we're not really looking to do long episodes. 
Um, so that's all we got for today. And uh, we're going to try and cut out as many jokes that didn't land or uh, awkward pauses as possible. <laughs> well, you don't need to tell them that, jeez. <laughs> I think transparency is the most important thing. <laughs> um, I'm going to email that to every single like esports org owner. Esports org. Transpa- radical transparency. Um, that's what we're going for. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.